Hello and welcome to the Home Festival Family Friendly Quiz for NHS. It's, so let me tell you about the Home Festival Fund. Home Festival is a series of online activities set up by Strictly Stars, uh, OT, Karen and their partners, uh, David Webb and Maria Supure. So thank you so much for setting up Home Festival Family. It's an amazing group to be part of. Um, so there's going to be four rounds. Uh, first is primary school, themed on Eurovision. Then the second one is pictures, maybe themed on Eurovision too. And number three, charades, 80% themed on Eurovision. And music, definitely themed in Eurovision. Hmm, I wonder if everything is uh, about Eurovision today. It might be, it might be, it really is. And then a sing-along. The sing-along is not quite Eurovision. It's actually a request from last week. So we're gonna, we're gonna now start moving on to round number it's the final round now. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. It's the final round now. It's the final round. Final round. Is it time for tears? No, it's not. It's time for joy because we are in. <laughs> Eurovision. We're in Eurovision. Final round. Final round. So I've, I've changed the question ever so slightly. So, there's two marks available per question. One is for the country that this song is from. One is for the country that this song is from. But the second mark is for the year this song came out. The year this song came out. And Emily and Gizmo on Instagram, I'm gonna be a bit more generous because initially I said a year either side. Some of them are quite tricky. So I'm gonna give you the mark if you get two years either side. So imagine the answer was 2018. So if you put 2016 or 2020, I will give you the mark because I am that kind of guy. You know that guy? I'm that guy that gives you two years either side. So you ignore the one year either side. So two years either side for the year of the song and the country that made the song, okay? So are we ready, Judy, Lily, Emily, Gizmo, Sarah, Tim? Are we ready for this round? So this is, Get your ears ready. Get your ears ready. It's the music round. It's the music round. Okay. So let me see if I can get this uh, get this going. Get this party going. So question one is identify the country and song and the year. And I won't repeat it, but the year I'll give you two years either side. Here we go. Congratulations and jubilations. I want the world to know I'm happy as congratulations and jubilations. I want the world to know I'm happy as. So, to get the marks there, you get one mark for the country that song came from and the year it was on Eurovision. So you get a mark for two years either side. There you go. The name of the person should be quite easy. So that's question number one. Country and the year. Have a little think, have a little natter. Chat to your friends and family. So I've not been checking Twitter, go and check Twitter as well, just in case there's some people. Apologies, Twitter, not been taking the score. So have a think, what year? And we're gonna do a quick few shout outs to Twitter people in case. David Amazon, nine out of 10. Uh, Helen Joanne on seven out of 10, well done. We've got the Princeps joining us today. Thank you so much. They love the extravagance. And hello, Richard Savage. Hello, Dave Bowman. Thank you so much for joining me. And apologies for missing you out, Twitter. I don't, I don't mean to show you a lack of respect or love, but I just forgot, you know. What is the word? Um, absence makes the heart grow stronger. I missed Twitter for the whole evening. So now I'm like, I love you, Twitter. Please take me back into your arms. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Question number two. So it's, again, they're all going to be the same. Identify the country and the year. So question number two. Let's have a look.
That was tricky. That's question number two. So you've heard it twice. So you need to identify the uh, country of the song. Listen to the language, might be a clue. And the year it came out. It's a tricky one. So identify the country of the song and the year. So that is question number two. Question number two. Okay, time for question number three. So question number three is, same business, country, and the year of the song. Two years either side gets it for you. Hold on, let's try and do it at the same time. There we go. So identify the country and the year. Two years either side. Question number three. Yeah, what year you like thinking? Ah, oh, I remember that song. I remember that song. Okay. Time for question two square. Time for question four. Okay, question number four is same. You know the score. Let's have a listen to it. You don't know the band there, but the country and the year. There we go. The country and the year. The country and the year. And we come for the final question. So in case you're thinking when you get the final question, you're going to rush off. Don't rush off because what we've got in store after is, I'll tell you the lineup for home festival, family after this. Uh, I'll show you another exclusive dance video from Monk and Seagull, a dance video from our new series. And then we've got our sing-along, which you all love. That's what we do, you know, the sing-along, the joy. We love the singing and the joyness. Joyness, that's not a word, I'm making up stuff. Okay, last question, question number five. So again, this one here, identify the country and the year, so we know the drill. Okay, the final one coming up now, here we go. So there are your five questions, your five questions. Remember, you get a mark for each question and a mark for each year. Either side, two years either side. Okay, so let's go through the answers. Let's go through the answers. I'm gonna put them up for you. I'll say, so number one is the UK, Cliff Richard. Congratulations and celebrate. Congratulations. And See, so that one, 1968. So if you get 66 to 70, you get two marks. So number one is UK and 1968. Question two was... That was Celine Dion. The Celine Dion. So in 82, she won some sort of world music competition. In 88, she exploded into life. So this is 1988 for Switzerland. 1988 Switzerland, that was Celine Dion. My heart will go on. There was always space for Leo on the iceberg. Kate, move up, give him space. There was no need for him to die. God's sake. We could have had both of you an amazing love story, but Leo, you silly man, you decided you wanted to stay in the freezing water. Not a smart move, Leo. So it was Switzerland and 1988. Question three was, it was a uh, hard rock Hallelujah. Yeah, it's Finland, 2006. Finland, 2006. So Finland, 2006. Finland, 2006. It was a great song. I remember the, the masks and the outfits. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, question four. We all know question four was, it was uh, water. Yeah. It was a 
Great song with Mama. So that was uh, Sweden, 1974. So you get a mark two years either side. Here's a good little fact. The UK awarded null point to Sweden. We didn't award any points. We love ABBA here. And you know one thing, my, uh, a little bit of curious seagull fact. Um, growing up, our dad, you know when parents put music on uh, nursery rhymes for kids to sort of just get on with stuff? Our dad used to put ABBA on. So I absolutely love ABBA. I love ABBA. Okay. And the last one was one of my favorite Eurovision songs. Just a little bit. So the answer was UK and 1996. So give yourselves uh, marks and submit. Give me your scores. Give me your scores. Give me your scores. Give me your scores, people. Let me know your scores. Uh, these quizzes are set up for helping to raise funds for the NHS. If you feel like you're enjoying the quiz, you've got a few quid to donate, go to justgiving.com forward slash quiz for NHS and, and please do donate anything that you possibly can.